Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss how to identify or detect the loops from the three address code. Detecting and identifying the loops from the high language is simple. Why? If there is a keyword called for or while or do while, we can say that they are the loops. But when we convert the high level language to three address code, we will not find such keywords. A loop can be represented with a combination of a conditional or unconditional go to statement with the help of the if condition. All these things I already I have discussed how to convert a high level language to three address code. What is a three address code? Three address code is a representation for the intermediate code which is generated by the intermediate code generator. Is it clear? So now in this video, I want to discuss the steps involved in identifying or detecting the loops from the three address code. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Let me discuss the steps involved in it. We use control flow analysis on program flow graph. So first thing is that we need to construct the program flow graph. Okay. On the program flow graph, we need to do the control flow analysis. While we are doing the control flow analysis, if we identify any cycles in this graph, then we can say that there is a loop. Okay. Now we need to find basic block for program flow graph construction. So if you want to construct the program flow graph, you need to identify the basic blocks. Now you can ask me one question, sir, what is a basic block? Basic block is a block, okay, consists of sequence of three address code instructions. Now, what is the meaning of this one is you have, let's take that one, two, three instructions, which is a three address code instruction. Now, this sequence will enter here, means the control will enter here. It will execute the instruction one execute the instruction 2, execute the instruction 3 in a sequence and it will come out. When we can execute the instructions in a sequence, if there is no jump or go to instructions in the basic block, is it clear? So basic block is a sequence of instructions which does not consist of any go to or jump instructions and all the instructions in the block will be executed in sequence and it will come out. Okay. Are you able to understand it or not? Now, what is the statement 3 is saying? For constructing the basic blocks, we need to identify the leader. So, if you want to construct the basic block, we need to identify the leader. So, let me discuss the steps involved in identifying the leader from the three address code. Okay. First statement in a three address code is a leader. Let me discuss with an example. Let's take that you have a instruction 1, instruction 2, instruction 3, instruction 4 and instruction 5 and instruction 6. All these instructions are in the 3 address code. Now there is an instruction 5 go to 3. Okay. Now what is this one? Is an unconditional go to statement. Okay. Now first statement in a 3 address code is a leader. So what they are saying is that the first instruction in a 3 address code is a leader. Because we need to identify the leaders only. Statement which is target, this is important, target conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader. Now if you look at it, this is the instruction which consists of unconditional go to statement. In the unconditional go to statement, this one we will call it as a target instruction. So this target instruction 3 is another leader. Okay. Now statement that follows immediately after conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader. Now, after this instruction, whatever the instruction is immediately follow, that instruction we will call it as a leader. Are you able to understand it or not? So, this one is a leader, this one is a leader, this one is a leader. Once we identify the leaders, then we can easily construct the basic block. On the basic block, we will construct the program flow graph from the control flow analysis, then we will identify the loops. So to do all these steps or to make you understand these steps, let me give a simple example of a high level language and convert into three address code. Then I will detect the ladders from it. 
from them i will construct the basic block and the program flow graph okay let me take a simple example i have a is equal to 2 b is equal to some 3 some d is equal to 0 okay for i is equal to 0 to i less than 5 i plus plus is there d is equal to a plus b instruction is there so this is my high level long ways consists of a loop now let me convert this high level long ways to three address code what is the three address code will consist of a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 okay d is equal to 0 are you able to understand it or not then we will have the d is equal to 0 all the initializations i have done now i is equal to 0 this also we need to initialize then we have the for loop how to convert it if i is greater than or equal to 5 go to some label l2 let me write it this is my label l1 okay consists of if i greater than or equal to 5 go to l2 now what is this l1 will consist of is now you need to perform d is equal to a plus b let me take a temporary variable t2 is equal to a plus b okay then d is equal to temporary variable t2 this one we have performed now what i need to perform i need to perform i is equal to i plus 1 am i right i plus plus is can be represented as i is equal to i plus 1 so i will take t3 is equal to i plus 1 then i is equal to t3 so i perform this one with these two instructions and then i need to increment the i value then where i have to go i have to after this statement you will have let me write here go to okay l1 your l2 will consist of something is it clear are you able to understand it or not so this is the intermediate code for the high level long ways now let me write the numbers this is my instruction one this is my instruction two instruction three instruction four like that you have now what is this thing they have said once you convert the high level long ways to three address code or once you got the three address code how to identify the leaders first statement in a three address code is a leader let's take that this is my first statement this is my leader okay now statement which is a target conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader okay l2 this is my leader okay are you able to understand and go to l1 this is my leader are you able to understand it or not is it clear are you able to understand it or not this is my leader this is my leader because what they said statement which is a target conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader okay go to l2 is there this is my leader okay and then go to l1 is there this is a leader now look at this one go to l2 is there what is the statement 3 is saying statement that follows immediately after conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader so this is my another leader so how many leaders after this one okay after this one this is a leader so totally how many leaders we got one two three four leaders we got how i got the first statement is a leader and from the second point statement which is a target conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader now go to l2 l2 is a leader okay go to l1 is there l1 is a leader now from the statement 3 it, what it is saying statement that follows immediately after conditional or unconditional go to statement is a leader after l2 this instruction is there this is a leader now go to l1 after this one this one is there this is also a leader again already we got that this is a leader so how many leaders we got we got the four leaders let me erase this one okay so that i will construct the basic block okay 
let me discuss how to find the basic block now basic block will start from the leader okay i defined what is a basic block now how to identify the basic blocks from the three address code is that a basic block will start from the leader and will go up to the next leader but it will not write the instruction which is there in the next leader are you able to understand let me take one example it will start from this leader and it will go to up to the next leader but it will not include the instruction which is there in the next leader so i can say that this is my one basic block are you able to understand this is my one basic block let me write it as b1 how many members have understood how to get the block is there let me discuss again from the leader you start and write all the instructions up to the next instruction but don't include the instruction which is there in the next leader so from this leader you go up to the next leader but it does not include this leader instruction which is there in this leader okay okay are you able to understand now start from the next leader don't include the instruction which is there in the next leader so from here to here you need to go but you no need to include this instruction is there okay so this is my block 2 which consists of only this instruction are you able to understand this is my b2 or let me write it here this is my b1 this is my b2 okay now start from this instruction go to up to the next leader but don't include the statement which is there in the next leader so you have the b3 okay and this one is a next block which is a b4 i don't know how many members have understood how many blocks i got now let me repeat again this is your first instruction start from this first leader write all the instructions till the next leader but don't include the statement which is there in the next leader okay so instruction one instruction two instruction three instruction four are the instructions will be there in the b1 similarly in b2 this instruction only will be there in b3 these are the instructions will be there but this one will not be there in b4 this instruction will be there now let me discuss about the construction of the program flow graph program flow graph means how the program is going meaning is that from which instruction to it is executing the next instruction it is executing all the instructions in b1 after b1 it is going to b2 after b1 because after this instruction you need to execute this one so after b1 you are going to b2 now from b2 where you are going go to l2 this is one possible if this condition is satisfied you will write go to l2 so you are going to the l2 what is the instruction which is there in the l2 which is there in the b4 are you able to understand if this condition is fail you will go to this instruction which is there in the b3 i don't know how many members have understood see it is a conditional statement there are two possibilities are there whether the condition is true or the condition is false if this condition is true you will execute the go to l2 means you need to execute the instruction in the l2 so that's why i'm writing from b2 to b4 then if this condition is fail you will execute this instruction so from b2 to i'm going to b3 because this instruction is there in the block 3 this instruction is there in the block 4 okay now listen carefully we are executing all the instructions go to l1 is there so from here i need to go to the this instruction where is this instruction is there b2 so from b3 i need to go to b2 how many members have understood from this statement okay i need to go to l1 l1 is there in the block b2 so from b3 you will go to b2 is it clear are you able to understand now this l2 is not worrying what is this instructions we don't know okay now let me check it let me do the control flow analysis on this program flow graph if you see that we have a cycle we will go here and we will come this is a cycle are you able to understand so if this is a cycle we can say that it is a loop are you able to understand that is way we will identify the loops because this is the loop what is this instruction these are the instructions so here we have a cycle so we can say that it is a loop so like this we will detect the loop
So I hope you have understood how to detect or identify the loops from the three address code. I have discussed all the steps and I have taken a one example and convert into three address code. From the three address code, I have constructed the program flow graph. On the program flow graph, I have done the control flow analysis and I have detected there is a cycle. The cycle we will call it as a loop. So I hope you have understood all the concepts which I have discussed in this video. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.